the queen I Hi, my name is Wisteria, or as most of you know me by now, the queen of mean. Ooh, scary queenie is gonna hurt ya. Better watch out, better not cry. I tell you, this is exactly the reason why I took this moniker. Because of people like the one I'm gonna tell you about today. The ones who immediately cry harassment or bully when you dare call them out on their bullshit. Today we're gonna talk about Eden, aka Buttons. Wait, no, uh, Wendy, aka Bethany, aka... You're saying those are two separate people? Could've fooled me, really, and I'll tell you why. So, sit down, grab a snack, grab a drink, and let her royal majesty tell you a little bedtime story. What? You guys are all calling me that, so why not go ahead and embrace my title? Alright, so, where to start? I guess I'll make introductions first. This is Wendy underscore doll 2, also known as Bethany, but her actual real name is which she shared herself. She has a few other accounts that she uses to roleplay with, but those will come up later in the story. All the accounts I've mentioned here, unless stated otherwise, are her. She came into the picture when Eden had harassed one of her friends, and I felt sympathy for her as not soon after, Eden also started targeting her. Calling her something that was both an insult, but also a trigger word for because of past traumas. But not soon after, I started following that part of the Eden hate train, I started to notice that she was getting a lot of facts wrong. Mainly the part where she was falsely accusing Eden of being a pedophile slash groomer slash predator, which was just not true. Granted, when I did some research, I came to the conclusion that Eden did not have a healthy relationship with minors at all, as she seemed to be using them for his own goals and manipulated them into defending him. Up until the last moment that Eden was still on Twitter, he was still talking to a 15-year-old. But with that came the first red flag. The moment I told to stop spreading those false things, she started to accuse me of invalidating her experience of past abuse, and when I said that wasn't the case, it was just a matter of the fact that if you keep spreading lies, that people won't believe you, and then she said that people had to believe her because she supported Eden's victims. So that's two red flags in one instance. Trust me, I immediately saw those and took a step back from interacting with her from that moment on, only replying to her tweets when she once again got it wrong. This was a red line by the way, she kept making the same mistakes I corrected time and time again. Now, in comes a 14 year old that also was a victim of Eden's. Well, he already was in the picture, but I made sure to keep him at an arm's length because I just don't like talking to minors about stuff that they shouldn't be talking about. Suddenly I had someone telling me that this teenager had a roleplay account where he was not only lying that he was 19, but also participating in erotic roleplay. Hell, his account was in an actual heat event the moment I discovered it. So. You know me, I had to make people aware of it, so I made a tweet and also knew that <laughs> talk to him. So I did what any other sane person would do, at least I hope they would, and message her suggesting that she probably should block him. Emphasis on suggest. I didn't force anything. I didn't say she had to block him. But all in all, not talking to him anymore would have been the better idea in my opinion. And then this ensued. I said, I suggest blocking Nora, apparently they have an actual NSFW account where he lies about their age. Look, I will not RP with him at all, I'm not Eden and I really don't need any more stress from anything Eden related. My phone is getting fixed right now, I get it back on Tuesday, so I'm kindly asking you to chill until Tuesday. This is not RP or Eden related, this is a minor lying about their age. This is a minor lying that they're 19 so adults can ERP with them. You act like that is a new thing. Literally just a month before this shit with Eden there was a minor doing lewd RP with my friends. Minors lie about their age on Twitter, it's nothing new. And all you can really do is warn people about the situation, that's all you can do. So because this is a regular thing you shouldn't listen to my warning now and block them? I did a call out tweet about this, the least you can do is say I'll take care of it or something. 
And the least you can do is respect my request of being left alone until I have my phone back. If a minor lies about their age, then it's an instant block for me. If the minor lies about their age and I see that they're luring people into our ER being with them, that's even worse. Apparently you can very much tweet out that your phone is broken, so why not do the simple thing of blocking an account? So once again, I kindly ask you to chill out until I have my phone back and less stress. I'm on my fucking laptop, which I hate using for Twitter and typing due to my fucked up hands. That's even easier to block someone. You go to their account and click block account. And if I deem that account blockable and reportable for any reason, I will. Now, please. Wow. Do not add more stress to me than I already have. Great to know you're okay with a minor going around lying about their age. Great to know you love adding more stress onto someone that has asked you twice to not do so. Oh, and think that okay with something good to fucking know you're my brain. Ah yes, the stress of a broken phone, true first world problems. Don't worry about this minor being in danger of getting preyed on. The stress of Eden, the stress of money, the stress of not trying to relapse, the stress of trying not to stress. Don't assume shit you know nothing about. Aight. So only when it's about you then. I was, to say the very least, frustrated about this as you've probably noticed. In my mind, she took her broken phone above the smallest effort to block a child that was lying about his age. And later I found out that this was because she wanted to have evidence of her own that I didn't give her enough. Although I literally showed her a screenshot of the account saying heat event. What followed was the biggest temper tantrum I've seen in a while. So yeah, I was not happy with how that transpired and called her out on it. Also because this would have all been solved with her saying, I'll take a look at it later. But she made it very apparent that her phone was more important and she that she couldn't do anything on Twitter without her phone. Although it's much easier to block someone on a laptop, even with her fucked up hands. Oh yeah, she made that very clear to me afterwards that I was the cause of her having to have hand braces the next day. And that she had a depressive and anxiety episode that night. And almost went off the deep end. Does this already ring a familiar bell? Because to me it certainly did. This was the exact, yes the exact same thing that I went through with Eden. The guilt tripping, the me being at fault because I dared to call her out on mistakes. How dare I speak my mind. And I already mentioned this in a previous video about Ian. I absolutely loathe people that use suicidal thoughts and self-harm tendencies as a shield. For me there is nothing worse than reacting to criticism with I almost offed myself thanks to you, you should feel bad. I hate it. I can't say anything else and I fucking hate it because there are people that are actually feeling bad about themselves and don't shout it from the rooftops and it's thanks to people like that that they don't dare open their mouths. <sighs> After that whole guilt trip stopped, or should I say lessened, I thought I was done with it. But, and here's the reason I wanted to make this video, she kept spreading misinformation about Eden and other stuff. The biggest thing was this big threat. I was so appalled by all the mistakes in this that I just had to react. First point. He romantically shipped with a 17 year old and he knew their age. Eden is 23. If he was 18 and not shipping with a known minor, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Big deal a few months to a year age gap. He is 23. Minor is 17. Romantically shipping that is considered pedophilia to me. You are 23 and know not to ship with a 16 year old. The account he used was Acedia Lamb. This was last year that this happened. Two instances, actually. Both of these were the case of Eden not knowing the minor's ages. Very stupid on his part. But in the end, no ERP occurred before they turned 18. Also the fact that she went from 17 to 16. If you're spreading news, at least make it consistent. Point two. 
He attempted to withhold funds, I believe it was 10,000 bucks, from a miner that was in a very dark and toxic situation and then started to victim shame a miner. The funds that Eden stole were nowhere near 10k. No idea where you took that number, but it was only $325. And in Min's situation, he didn't steal anything, he just was trying to withhold the money, which was probably at most $50 or something? I don't even know because nowhere was it mentioned. Point 3. Didn't pay an artist for an art swap and I believe to this day still hasn't. The art swap wasn't a commission, so there was nothing stolen or unpaid for. By the way, I want to take this moment to say that Manga Jack was paid back by Eden and the art trade happened by Patchwork Heart. The fourth point. Claiming he is Asian and Native American when he is not. The claim that he is Asian came from someone ridiculing the fact that Eden was saying he was Native American. And like I mentioned on Twitter, we really can't know for sure if someone is what they claim they are until proven otherwise. Also remember this point, it'll come in handy in a bit. And then the last point, Eden enables criminals. Eden doesn't enable criminals. Like the point that she is trying to make here is that Eden came back to her Angel Dust roleplay account after people bullied her off of it and made false sex accounts and such. I don't even know what, what happened, but coming back and standing up for yourself isn't really enabling criminals. Plus, he was ignorant about Ichabod. He willingly ignored all the screenshots that were available and only mentioned it and broke it off when it became good for him. Also, remember how I just read off about how she says that Eden doesn't look Asian or Native American? I don't know, but to me that sounds pretty racist, right? But nah, it's not racist when <coughs> does that. No! It's only racist when I say that her facts are wrong about a well-known Native American Native Canadian legend that only took me two seconds on Google to verify. So yeah, not only was she spreading misinformation about Eden, but now she was spreading a lot of information about me. Saying that I've been harassing her, that I've doxed a minor and that I'm racist. Let me quickly go over those accusations because there are a few things missing in context. Harassment. She's claiming this because after I made that call out on her misinformation spreading, Rouge and some others asked her to come into the Senate so things could be cleared up and reacted to this by blocking the people that actually know about Eden and the people that she was using the videos of as evidence. I already explained the racism part a little earlier. It's it's too dumb to elaborate on that really. But I do want to add this little funny thing that she came to her own defense on this because no one else was gonna. Yeah, that's one of her own accounts. Actually, the one that she has linked on her Discord. Doxing a minor. I didn't actually dox a minor. Let me make that very clear. I had a little spat with the 14 year old, because he was also lying about me and making videos on me. Checking this, I discovered that he had his Gmail visible for all to see on his YouTube channel. And then in a moment of frustration, I typed out his initials in a curious cat answer. Which I've already deleted, by the way. You know, the only thing missing in there is that I'm a groomer. Oh wait, no, she has also accused me of being that. <laughs> Weird, because I'm not the one who is still talking to a 14 year old. You see, when I resolved that whole thing with the minor, I found out that <coughs> was still talking to the minor that she says she blocked. How did I find out? Considering my Twitter email address is nowhere to be found in public and the only person she had got, gotten this from is the minor I reported on Twitter because they were using my art without my permission. Remember how she was saying that Eden was such a bad person for talking to minors? I don't think talking to minors that you said you blocked is any better. Or should I say Eden 2.0? At the start of this I was thinking to make this video a reaction video to her 40 minute long video and the 30 minute long video that she made after that, but after seeing that the whole video was nothing but anecdotal shit with no screenshots or anything to back it up with, the fact that she turned off the comments and that it barely got any views from her 1800 followers on Twitter, I decided against going through all that hassle and instead just make a video on misinformation. Misinformation can have very big consequences if you're not careful. It's not 
first time someone went to jail or was killed because of something that someone accused them of. There's a reason that the tale of the kid crying wolf is such a popular thing to tell people. It warns them of the dangers that could follow if you spread lies and wrong facts. And that's not only to the victims of that misinformation. You are also in danger, because when the moment comes that you're actually right, no one is gonna believe you. And just like the kids in the cautionary tale, you'll get eaten by the wolf. Or worse, if it is found out that you've been lying, then the victim can get you arrested for either slander or libel, depending on if you've spoken or written the lies. The only reason I haven't done that yet to is because 1. I haven't lost any reputation because no one believes her shit. 2. I have absolutely no idea about legalities. And 3. I also know it's ridiculous to sue someone that lives an ocean away. Check your facts, check your sources, and if someone tells you you're wrong with actual facts to back them up, believe them. And don't shout harassment the moment someone calls you out on your bullshit. Queen Amin, signing out.